Hello, my friends. My name is Dominic Luciano, and today I'm here to show you something that、um, has been requested on some of my videos and comments lately.、Um, I'm going to show you how to get this lovely anamorphic crop on standard videos that haven't been shot through an anamorphic lens. And it's really, really, really simple, actually. And、um, I'm actually going to show it to you in both Sony Vegas. I use Sony Vegas、uh, Platinum 11. And I'm also going to show it to you in After Effects CS5. And so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is start a brand new project in Sony Vegas. I've already done this because I'm trying to save time, because I know, me included, nobody likes a long tutorial. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to show you the properties. Uh, 1920 by 1080, and I use the inverse telecine film frame rate. And、um, go ahead and hit OK. You know, make sure all that stuff's good. Looks like it's good. All right. So let's get down to business. Basically, we're going to do this. Drop your clip in. So your clip is right here. All right. So we have this lovely looking clip shot in 1080p, same frame rate, everything. Um, I use the Canon T3i to shoot my video, and、uh, I did this clip a while ago. And I just kind of had it on hand, something that we could use to、uh, experiment with. Okay, we're gonna go down here on the clip to where it says Event Pan Crop. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And we get this window. I'm kind of a cheater. I'm gonna go down here to where it says 2.35 HD Anamorphic. That's just my preset that I've already saved, so I don't have to keep entering stuff in every time that I do this. Um, basically, it's really easy. You're gonna w a n t to make sure that this button right here that says lock aspect ratio is off, and you're gonna w a n t to enter in these dimensions right here 1920 by 817. And as you can see, we get this nice, lovely looking anamorphic crop. And basically, that's it. So, let's get into After Effects, and I'll show you the rest. All right, folks. Well, I have Adobe After Effects CS5 open right now. And you know what? This is going to be even easier than using Sony Vegas to do this. It's way easier. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go composition, new composition. And once again, I'm kind of a little bit of a cheater. And I already have both.、Uh, A 4K and a 1080p、uh, preset for anamorphic widescreen. So, since we're still doing high definition, I'm gonna go to this. And as you can see, it shows up with the same dimensions 1920 by 817 square pixels. So, make sure your frame rate is 24 or 23.976. Either one is fine. And、uh, I'm gonna change this to a quarter because my computer kind of freaks out sometimes. And set the duration of your composition. Go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, voila! We have an anamorphic looking box. Now, what we're gonna do is import a file, just any file. I'm gonna look for something that we could use. Let's see. We'll just go with an image, because you know, you can do this with images too. Uh, we'll use this one. Okay, so we have the image right here. Go ahead and drop it in. We're gonna go ahead and make this smaller. And what you're gonna wanna do is fit whatever video you want into your frame and pan and scan it. And then when you're done, just go ahead and go composition and make movie. Let's see, composition, make movie. And there you go. Render it down and you're good to go. And if you take this, this file that you just made and put it back into Sony Vegas, it's going to still be anamorphic. It's not going to stretch it back out and fill the frame. It'll already be anamorphic. So this is kind of a good way in After Effects if you just want to take the entire video clip and. Make it anamorphic before you even edit it in Vegas or whatever. Be sure to、uh, check out my channel and show me some love with the subscribe button. Maybe give me a thumbs up. I don't know. And 
keep you guys' eyes open for my new EP coming out soon, Lust Games. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys soon.